Good morning. Well, it's almost afternoon. It's 1126. We got on the road this morning about 830, I think. We got as far as Cimarron, which is about 18 miles. I don't remember. Not very far from the state park to the town of Cimarron. Found a mechanic here in Cimarron and we can't keep Phoenix running. She keeps dying. Lack of fuel is what I'm assuming since she's had all kinds of issues with the fuel filter. I don't know. So we're gonna go get burgers at Creamy Drive-In here in Cimarron. Hey skinny. Did you make yourself right at home? Uh, girl's got to sit somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you found nice trees. Yeah, the deer love it. Yeah. Good afternoon. It's not morning. And the air conditioner is really loud. I am doing errands today. Got to go pick up a few things. We're in Cimarron, New Mexico. And um, headed to our new destination tomorrow. So I thought I'd take advantage of staying in this town for a few days. I'm going to do a little bit of laundry. There's a little bitty grocery store here, which is cute. The Creamy, what's the name of this? Creamy. Creamy Drive-In. So I had to stop and get me something to eat before I do all my, all my running around. What do we have today? Ooh. Corn dog. Went down to the convenience store to get a corn dog. And they're supposedly cooked chicken and corn dogs and all kinds of stuff. They didn't have anything. A mouth water and onion rings. Hmm. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. With some mustard mayonnaise. Good old drive-in food. We ate here the other day. We had burgers, which were good. I didn't realize they gave me ketchup and mustard, and I got ketchup. So I got a whole lot of ketchup and mustard. Do y'all eat mustard or ketchup on your corn dog, or both? I like both, and I like salt and pepper on my um, corn dog too. So these are bigger than the last few I've gotten. That place is called Rocky's Market. I can never remember that. But um, the Rocky's Market, I think in Eagle's Nest, they're about like this. <laughs> they're little bitty. Let's try the onion ring first. You put ketchup on your onion rings? Those are good and crispy. Good and done. Crispy onion rings. They're hot. Mm. The laundry room is right next to the Creamy's di Dining Diner. diner. <laughs> Drive in. The Creamy Drive in. So when I get through here eating, I'll just go next door and do my laundry. So I was sitting here thinking about what I paid for these onion rings and corn dog. And you know, and I get it. Prices are up. Prices are up. This was almost ten dollars for a corn dog and some onion rings. And I was lucky, I was thinking about their onion ring prices. I was like, it's like $4 and something for onion rings. Aren't onions pretty cheap? Potato uh, french fries were, I think, $2.99 and these were $4.29 or something. <clears throat> I don't know, a potato, an onion? It's crazy. 
Crazy, crazy. I ate somewhere the other day and wasn't really thrilled with it. Actually, two, the last two places I've eaten, not here at Creamy's, I wasn't thrilled about it and thinking, God, I spent a lot of money for that little pepper. That's another, <laughs> let me get on a rampage. Rampage? Rant. It's not really a rant, but I love pepper and I use a lot of it. And they hardly ever put enough pepper in these little things. <laughs> so I always have to get like, I don't know, seven of them to one salt or something. Because they put more salt, they put more salt in those little packets than they do pepper. I don't get it. But anyway, this is very good and the onion ring is awesome. So I guess it was worth it. I'm the only one in here. So every time I go to a laundromat, I get change, no matter if I need it or not. And that's because why? Yeah. I wouldn't be able to get change in this little beauty town. So everywhere I go, I always get $20 worth of quarters just in case that happens look at the clouds I think it's gonna rain oh, we just did a thing <laughs> <laughs> didn't we <laughs> yes we did so we turn this whole thing yeah I didn't flip it because it has this topper on here but um I bought this new back when I bought the truck camper. And opened it up outside of the truck camper. Yeah, that one's smart. But anyway, I opened it up in my living room. I'll link a video to that up above and in the description. But anyway, so I bought a new mattress pad and I thought, well, it's a good time to flip the mattress and vacuum under the mattress. And so I recruited Deborah to come help me and yeah. So we got it turned, but now before she lays it out, I gotta yeah, get you got to get down and be careful coming down the steps because the dogs are like, "What the heck, Sammy?" No. It's okay, baby girl. She's like, "What are you doing to my bed?" You're gonna block me from getting out, aren't you? Come here, you? Sammy. No, you got to get down because <laughs> you may need bandit. There's not room enough for four of us in here. Woo Ten <sighs> legs. Ten legs. No. Eight. 12 legs. 14, 17, 20. Brett, 12, Sammy, 12 you legs can't get up there. In a truck camper. She's not like any. Like, she's like, I'm in a spoon. <sighs> yeah, I've got the camper torn up right now. She's a cleaning fool today. I did. I cleaned the whole camper and then, so. <sighs> that's the, um. Come on, baby. The last thing is putting just, a new mattress pad and. <sighs> All right, I'm going to turn on the air conditioner back on. All right. Thank you for helping me. Okay. Now we just need to flip that over and I'll put the mattress pad on it. Sounds good. -a. Good. -a. You see that garage in front of that um, white door? There's a big, big buck eating. Can you see him? You can see his horns. And we're in town. He's, there's a house. Of course, there's that garage. There's another house. Just walking down the street.
So this is where we stayed for the last three nights here in Cimarron. Hikers, Cimarron Inn and RV Park. And this is no vacancies. Cool little hotel. RV Park. Old Scout International. <laughs> They've been here a while. I love sunflowers. He also owns a coffee place, so we're gonna go visit the coffee place and get some coffee before we leave. Cool place. Tent sites in the back. RV places back here. RV places up there. It's cool that we got to be in the back, not close to the road. Alright, let's head to our next destination. Mm -hmm.